Tonight we are honoring one man's lifetime of hard work. Ted Johnson has been a pillar of the community in Independence Heights. And in just two weeks, after 33 years on the job, he's retiring. Janelle Bluta with his story tonight. Hi, I'm Janelle. How are you? How are you doing, Janelle? Nice to meet you. You too. Is this your place? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. How long have you had this place? I've been here since uh, 1988. We call it the corner. On the corner of Old Yale. I just decided to do it. And Thornton. It was a leap of faith. Where Ted Johnson built his career fixing cars. It was real, real fun to do. To mess with things, to make it run, see how it run, check everything out that you've done. With just two grand and God. I pray, come to work, and try to make it a great day. Ted's automotive gave him 33 years, 8,500 days of blood, sweat, tears. Days, nights, rains, sleet, snow, I mean a lot. But I was able to put my kids through college for a few years. And success. If you got it in your heart and your mind, you can do it. But today, Ted's taking it all apart. It's time to retire. What is that last day going to feel like? A lot of tears and a lot of crying but we'll make it through it. His business, the building, may soon be gone, but it will forever be the corner where his customers became his kin. It's a family affair, you know. And his dream became his destiny. Whatever you do, do not give up and it'll work out for you. He's not sure what's next. I guess I'm gonna do like some other people. I'm gonna go to Disney World and think about it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's a new chapter. Once again, thank everybody in the community that, that stuck with me over these years. It makes me sad sometimes, but it'll be okay. One he's waited his whole life to start. In Houston, Janelle Blue to KHOU 11 News. Wishing Mr. Johnson a very happy retirement. He's I too know young. it's tough. I know it's tough, right? But my goodness, he's it's, earned it. It's uh, really cool. You can see why he had a lot of customers. He's just a nice, he's a nice guy. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He's a really nice guy. I still maintain he's too young to be retiring. That man it looks like he can keep going for another 40 years. Congratulations. And it, those pillars of the community are what hold us together. They mm. sure are. I love that story.